my name is Riley and I'm a ranger at Red Rock State Park in Sedona and today I'm here to talk to you about Appreciate AZ and respecting wildlife. When I talk to school groups about respecting wildlife, I like to remind them that when you're out in nature, you're visiting the homes of these animals, the places that they live. And just like you're respectful when you visit somebody else's home, we're respectful to the animals and the resources that they need. All animals play an important role in our natural ecosystems, and if animals get scared away or can't live somewhere anymore, it means the ecosystem is really gonna suffer. They play important roles pollinating and eating plants and animals that keep the whole system balanced. The main draw for wildlife to this area is Oak Creek that flows through our park. So waterways are incredibly important for all wildlife. Here in Arizona, an estimated 80% of wildlife rely on the habitats along waterways to survive, but those habitats only make up less than half a percent of our state's land area. So the creek provides drinking water, food, and safe places for animals to live and reproduce. At this park, we're really lucky. We have a huge diversity of wildlife, everything from mule deer, javelina, coyotes, gray foxes, even bobcats and mountain lions. We also see down by the creek, river otters, beavers, mud turtles. You can see the two-tailed swallowtail, which is actually Arizona's official state insect. And we have lots of dragonflies and damselflies flying around by the water. If you'd like to have a good chance of spotting wildlife at the park, I'd recommend showing up in the mornings before the heat of the day. Particularly if you're interested in observing birds, you shouldn't wear bright colors as it scares them away. You also want to keep the noise levels down, not just um, making sure not to be playing music or anything like that, but talk quietly with your group. You're more likely to have wildlife be comfortable being around you. If you ever encounter wildlife that looks like it's sick, injured, or behaving in an unnatural way, keep your distance and make sure to contact a professional. If you're at a natural area that has rangers, you should let the rangers know so they can deal with it. And if you're on your personal property or somewhere else, you can always call any kind of animal rescue organization such as Game and Fish. Another great way that you can safely and respectfully observe wildlife is by making sure to follow all the rules of the natural area that you're visiting. Here at this park, we don't permit pets, any swimming in the creek, or any amplified music. And all of that just makes sure that the wildlife are not disturbed or scared away from the natural areas that they need to live. You also never want to approach wildlife and try and feed them. Human food and trash is really detrimental to animals. It can make them sick and even kill them. Animals can also get trapped and tangled up in trash. Make sure to stay on established trails when you're out hiking and walking. That protects the habitats that these animals need to survive. If you're lucky enough to spot wildlife out in nature, Make sure that future generations of visitors can as well by helping us protect and preserve the places these animals need to live.